You are a natural born public speaker, and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. You point it out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. So the CRT stuff, BS. What's going on, folks and folk around us? Hope you guys are all doing well on this Saturday. So, I gotta give a shout out to my my man ABL for me being able to watch this video right here. And um, this is a, I guess, a well-known YouTuber named Logan Paul. My sons know him very well. I don't. And um, he went on a rant, I guess, with wokeism. I don't even know, guys. There's a lot of words going around wokeism, whatever. So anyway, again, ABL, I appreciate this clip, bro. I get my analysis on it, and then I will go from there. So, uh, all right. So again, I'm getting ready to watch this right here with um, Logan Paul, and then just give my take on what he's talking about. A lot of folks emailed me wanting me to watch this ABL, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what it's about and get my analysis on it, and we will go from there. All right, here we go. One of my biggest learnings from all of this, and I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. <clears throat> Condemn those who feign superiority because of the color of their skin. Friends, hold friends accountable. Hold your family accountable. Hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, we must hold our authorities accountable. Police officers, politicians, policymakers. As Killer Mike said, bully the politicians at the voting booth. Mm -hmm. Make your vo voice heard, attend a protest, speak up against injustice. If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are blind, you are delusional, and you are part of the problem. I can count on zero hands the amount of times that I have feared for my life at a routine traffic stop. That has never happened. Half of the reason I'm able to get away with some of my hula shit I do in my vlogs is because I'm a white kid. I'm confident that I do not have to fear for my life should the cops show up. Acknowledge and weaponize your privilege. I believe we're going to a protest today. You can bet your ass I'll be in the front line. Knowing all this about America, it's racially charged background, it's inability to truly treat humans as equals, even after 244 years since its inception. We must now work towards finding the solution. And if you are an influencer or a celebrity friend of mine, I hope you are using your platform to continue to spread the message of solidarity and unity. I do not have all the answers, but I know we must now reverse engineer the system as a collective. All right. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. Uh first I watched something with uh Candace Owens on there and she was saying some things that sounded very familiar to what he said here, but she was quoting something that somebody else said. And it was that guy um Ibram, I don't know how to say it, I might be saying it right, Ibram, 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 Ibram X Candy. This kind of sounds like some of the same stuff that Logan Paul was just saying now. This sounds like some of the stuff that he was saying. So one of the things that just throws me off here is that, you know, first of all, he said, hold yourself accountable. Well, oh, my God, you could have just stopped right there, Logan Paul, and just left that just be at everybody, whether you black, white, Asian, whatever. You didn't have to say anything after that. Hold yourself accountable. That right there would have just I mean, I would have been with you on that until you st he started going into. The whole white privilege thing. So when you say hold yourself accountable, family, friends, etc. So when you say all that. And I take it that you're saying is because you're trying to be, I guess, you know, pro black. All that, you know, you stand up for the black people, you know, for one, looking at this video, it seemed like it wasn't really natural that it came off. I mean, it looked like he was reading a script or something like that. And you know how it is. Like I said, guys, I mean, I think the lower for these experiences that I've been through in my life. But I know false preachers when I see them. You know what I mean? I know when someone is not giving off what they really feel in their heart. It's not coming off as being natural. You know, it comes off as like you're really trying. Like if I sat here and I don't know, let's just say one of these things I'm using this this uh, sure mic I'm using. You know, here's a starter guy right here. If I sat here and I had this guy in front of me and I said, you know, we must connect 
uh, via USB. If using the MV7 via USB, you know, you would need to download the SurePlus Motive app for ultimate control available at sure.com. You know, connect the via XLR. If you you know you're gonna see like that don't really come off as being genuine and being real and real passionate. You know, you should just be able to flow off this stuff out of your heart, but that's the issue that y'all can just tell. That I don't know exactly what his beliefs are with anything, but what he's saying right now is really not coming from his heart. It seemed like it's pre-scripted or it's like pre-written. And from the looks of it, he had like a MacBook or something in front of him. He was probably reading some things off of that. Maybe those are his quotes. But I'm just saying what Candace Owens read about Ibram, Kendi, whatever his name is, this sounds similar to some of the stuff that he was saying. So if he's saying things about as far as problems and all that go, and I'm going to keep on saying this because people that's listening to it, you're going to hear it over and over again. 70% of all homes, when it comes to blacks, don't have a father in it. Next thing you know, you know, we have a 90, 95 plus percent chance that you're going to be killed by somebody that doesn't look just like you, black on black crime. The illiteracy rate, you know, poor education. The Bible even talks about things like my people perish because of lack of knowledge. You know, lack of knowledge when it comes to history, education, these are the major things that are a huge threat to blacks, not what he's talking about right now. So, my question is, did he actually address a problem? And I said this on Candace Owens show and I said people can say things and I know that they weren't able to see Logan Paul, whoever was listening to Logan Paul say this and they didn't see the video. All they hear is his words. So it may sound like it's coming off as being passionate. It may sound like he's coming off as if he's really saying something, but in all, he never did address what the problem is. You know, uh, so my question would be to Logan Paul, what is the problem? The thing that you're talking about, excuse me, getting out there and marching and doing all that for what? For what reason? Now, I say that white privilege doesn't exist, which means I disagree with what he's saying. So he said that if you don't believe that white privilege exists, then you are blind, effing blind, delusional, and you're a part of the problem. But what is the problem? See, what you're going to end up getting, folks, and for the ones that actually follow me, the ones that learn from this, you know, you guys, the ones that have been following my channel for a long time. I talk about things by having superiority minded thinking, just having a superior mind, you know, and I'm not saying that I'm anything great because I only give what my father gives to me. And I'm talking about God. You know, you really have to get past people's emotions behind some of the things that they say. And I know I can come off of being real passionate, but even then I'm bringing it. Question what I'm saying. Test what I'm saying. Go and research what I'm saying to see if what I'm saying is wrong. So. He said that anyone that doesn't believe that white privilege exists is delusional, effing blind, and part of the problem. But what is the problem? Is the problem is the problem among white people that y'all have white privilege? Is the problem that y'all have some type of supremacy or you know superior thing over all other races? Is the problem you guys not being racist? I mean, that's really that's really crazy right there. How how can you say? That not being racist is not good enough, which, again, I think that's what Candace Owens said that, that Ibram Kendi guy said. She said the same thing. Ibram X. Kendi, she said the same thing that he said something like being being not being racist is not good enough. Do you know what kind of sense that does that even make sense to any of you guys? I mean, I'm not hateful. I'm not homophobic. I don't just I got I, one of my best friends is a homosexual and not being against homosexuality oh wait I'm, i mean see see what i'm saying that's what it does to you. you just you just oh uh, you get so confused on it's like okay so if you are not racist that's not good enough you need to be out there being anti-racist if you love everybody that's not good enough you need to go out there and be marching with like me I, of course yeah i don't agree with homosexuality but it doesn't make me homophobic it just means i disagree with that period now because i'm not homophobic or i'm not anti-homosexuals i'm not gonna get out there and march with you because of that no. So just because a person is not racist don't mean that they have to be anti-racist out there marching with people and all that. No, it's just I'm not racist, period. Leave it at that. You don't have to sit there and explain your, yourself to anybody why you're not racist and any of this nonsense. That's, that's just that's just craziness. And again, it seemed like it was written off. It was scripted. And again, I say to that, what is the problem that he's addressing? So he said that he's been pulled over and didn't have to fear for his life or anything either. Well, Logan Paul, neither have I. And I told you guys at least 19 times I've been pulled over since the day that I've been able to drive. Now, folks, I'm 39 years old. Yes, I've been pulled over at least 19 times and I haven't got a ticket. 
I've always gotten off. Clean driving record. And there's been times where I was going way over the speed limit, especially in Missouri, here in Missouri. You go over to 20 miles per hour, you know, that's considered a federal thing. But the man, police officers, they were always coming up, and not one police officer had mistreated me. And all of them were white. I have, now let me not say all of them. One of them was mixed, and this was in Panama City. One of them was mixed that pulled me over. And when he was saying, what were you speeding for? I was like, I was just trying to get home because... I'm tired of being on this road. We only had like this much to go. And usually nobody is around this area. And it's a straight shot for about a good five miles. And I just picked up speed and that. And while I was doing that, he looked over at my wife. My wife is sitting there like. And he said, yeah, according to your wife, you must not be lying. I'm pretty sure she might have told you a few times out the speed in this area. I was like, yeah. He said, okay, well, for your wife's sake and because I want her to have a one up on you. I'm going to let you off on this, but can you do me a favor, Mr. Smith? Can you please slow slow down in this region right here? Say, yes, sir. I never once in my entire life ever feared any police officer ever in my life. I have friends. I have family that can say the same exact thing. Never feared the police. Never. So why are you trying to make us fear something that's not fearful? Why is it that people are trying to virtue signal and make you have empathy and sympathy for black people for so-called being disenfranchised when a lot of them are not? Why are you wanting somebody to implement these false, make you feel bad about something that's actually not even real? You know what I mean? So, again, uh, this is actually pretty easy to decipher. And if he feels that way, Logan Paul, which I looked him up while the video is playing, do you a multimillionaire? All those subscribers that you got. So if Logan Paul, you get this video, how about you send some of them my way? See, I actually work. You know what I mean? I'm a director of a healthcare facility and I do things in the community. I got videos on my channel right now showing me sending food and sending things to our soldiers. Uh Oh, that's probably not going to work because that means I'm a patriot, which means I might be looked at as being anti. I mean, or I might be you no know, pro I'm hating. You know, I don't know. What the, there's so many things like I'm just like, oh, well, maybe I come off as being up to you're a patriot. That means you're racist. I don't know what it means, but I'm just saying this. Since you feel like you really want to do something, Logan Paul, y'all, if this video can be shared to Logan Paul, I would love this. Get on here and make a video and say, I want you guys all to go subscribe to Modern Renaissance Man's YouTube channel. He has a variety channel where he does things. He's cooking. He's doing DIY. He's doing reaction videos. He's doing personal ministry videos. He's doing marriage counseling. He's doing health videos. He's doing fitness videos. He's doing all kinds of videos on his channel. Let's see if you want to help a brother out, really, and send subscribers my way. Let's see if you do that. Let's see since you are a multimillionaire, Logan Paul, and I'm just one black person. I'm pretty sure it won't hurt your pockets at all. We can document this and actually have this whole thing recorded. How about you just send, just, just, I mean, it won't hurt your pockets to send anything over $10,000 or twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 towards my way to where I will put this into a specific account and I will video document me going to certain areas and using the money that you as a white man who wants to help the black people out, I will take that money and show you in these different hoods that I go to of uh, me using that money that you're going to send Logan Paul to rebuild some of these parks around these areas, you know, to help some of those houses in that, in these particular, just one area, just one block Logan Paul. I would just, I would tell you to block that, especially where I grew up at. Let's, let's use some of that money that you got. I mean, it won't, it won't hurt your pockets at all. Logan Paul. It won't hurt your pockets at all to send a little bit of that millions and millions of dollars that you have to come and help out this one area in the neighborhood that I grew up at where some of the same Folks that I grew up with, some of my friends, you know, some of the some of the old heads that still live around and they got grandchildren now. Some of my friends, they they're my age, and they got grandchildren. And this park that this one white lady helped build in our neighborhood, that is a little ran down. It's it's really ran down, you know. So how about sending somebody away so we can go and restore that and see if you really about what you claim to be about? Because marching with us is not going to be enough. That doesn't mean nothing. That's just virtue signal. All that can mean is that Logan Paul marched with some black people. Ooh, Logan Mar Logan Logan Paul attended this event da, da 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 but what about putting your money where your mouth is put your mouth put put it out there send it here send subscribers this way so when youtube if i do get a ton of subscribers you know because i don't make money on youtube especially with reaction videos well you talk about average what three four five hundred dollars a month from youtube is what i get so i'm pretty sure that's nothing to you but i mean you send your subs this way all the good stuff i get a ton of folks coming this way i can use that money that i get from youtube and actually go and make videos of me doing things in these neighborhoods that i came out of you know, what I mean, just why, I mean, sh do it that way. And if any of one is watching this that may want to jump on board of doing it, it's easy. 
All you gotta do is go to my YouTube channel, go to the about section, look at the PayPal area, you know, look at the look at the uh just the PayPal thing. Send it there. And then you can specifically say when you send it to PayPal, use this money to do something for somebody from your neighborhood and video it, Ty. Watch me do it. I I'm I'm, I'm real about this. So anyway, again, folks, this is another one of those deals where it's just virtue signaling. Is is major virtue signaling. And um it's just one way that Somebody like him seemed like he has to do it because being a big YouTube star like that, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty almost positively sure that a lot of people that's part of Hollywood, this whole thing that they have going on, we're trying to push this agenda, which it seemed like, seemed like it's really pushing people to hate America, divide by race. You know what I'm saying? At first, Marxism was divided by class, you know, socially, economically, divide that. But now they see that that didn't work. So now let's actually try to find another way to get Marxism in there by dividing by race. It's going to be divided by race, divided by gender. It's going to be right back to divided by your social economic status. Man, divide by anything, sex, you know, whatever sex you are. Divide by the area you live in. Divide by what side of the United States you live on. It's going to be constantly division, 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 division to where you just want to get folks to actually hate America. And I told you, color is just one of the main things they can use right now to keep this momentum going. But it's all about getting you to actually hate America, to try to tear down the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. But I'll get more into that in detail. Folks, this is a no-brainer. This was a bunch of nonsense that's being spilled, and I would love for him and I to have a conversation over it. But most likely that's not going to happen. But again, Logan Paul, if you get this message, yeah, send some of this way so I can help out the neighborhood that I grew up in, at least one neighborhood for starters right now, all right? Let's put, let's see what you can do about this, all right? It won't happen. Folks, I'm Ty Smith, modern renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, open prayer for the last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you through Jesus. What is going on, folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things that make you laugh, can help brighten your day, then you click right here, all right? And if you want to subscribe to this channel, you forgot to get to know who I am first, all right? Then you're going to click right here to lead you into this description. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime I post a video, all right? Let peace.